Hello friends, today I am going to make a continuation video of the lookup function which I have previously created and uploaded in my youtube channel. In this video we are going to learn or we are going to see the errors that we might get while doing the vlookup function and also how to rectify those errors. So let's get started. As you can see my screen this is the previous sheet that we have prepared to show you how to create a vlookup function in smartsheet and this is my backup uh, file from where i read the data okay now i'm going back to the main sheet uh, where i will be checking uh, what is the population of country china okay so i'm typing china here okay before that uh, if it will uh, vlookup will give you a result only if you have that data in the backend file which you already know uh, so let's try if china what what is the uh, population in china and is it available in the backend file so i am hit entering china you can see no match so this is an error for us it's it's like an uh, it's not good to show you no match or uh, cal uh, um, uh, you know not identify identifiable and so on in your uh, column right it's it doesn't looks good so you can just to reconfirm if you go back to your uh, vlookup file i mean the backup file you can see there is no uh, country called china uh, in in the backup right if you enter china here and update some value for sure and save the file and for sure let me save this also sometime it uh, update really quick and sometime it takes so what i usually do i refresh the page just wait for a minute yeah you can see the data is updated okay so let's say let's bring some errors here so let me type united states perfect it's not there let's try uh, united kingdom it's not there let's try Singapore it's not there now we don't want to show this error in our main sheet it doesn't look good so do that what you have to do uh, you have to use a equation called if error it is if error if you uh, type equal it will give you a drop down and you select if error if error the value is then what, what if it is error what is the value I mean what do you want to display there value if error this is the syntax yeah so task name or the column name and what what do you want to display there so this is what this is the say, equation that we are going to use in this uh, case so let's try again let's go and convert and sorry uh, let's edit the equation if error bracket open and if this entire vlookup function has an error then i want to update it as blank close bracket hit enter and i convert this to the entire column you can see my error goes and if you update some value in the back end united states and I'm, let's say i'm typing something here hit enter i make sure the the data is saved otherwise it will not reflect so here i am saving the file see united states came here right and if i remove that it will go from i need to make sure it's saved we need to make sure it's refreshed see it's gone from there I hope you guys enjoy the video please like and subscribe which is very important for me to motivate myself to put more videos into my channel which for sure will help some of you guys uh, in some stage so thanks for watching please subscribe